activated his rematch. It's Spence uh, activated his rematch. This is your boy, Real Deal Boxing Talk, coming at you with another one. Looks like Earl Spence has activated that rematch clause. We back at it, 154. Y'all know what it is. He didn't make any, at the end of the day, he took his lick. He took that L at 147. He took it like a man, he didn't make no excuses. It seems like more or less more the people, you know, the, the media and things came out and made all these excuses. I haven't, heard, I haven't heard Earl make one excuse. All I've heard Earl say is, let's do it at 154. Crawford said, let's do it. So everybody talking about Earl should, re Earl, Earl should retire, Earl should uh, quit boxing. Come on, man, when you take a L, you bounce back. And y'all know Earl's a champion, period. He don't play them games, so y'all knew he was going... Then everybody coming out with the fake news. Oh, uh, he's not gonna activate activate his uh, rematch clause. We don't know what's going on behind closed doors. People hear things and then put the news out, or they have people on the inside that give out the information. So a lot of these guys coming out saying, "Oh, uh, you're not gonna uh, do the rematch clause." No, you don't. You don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Now look at it. We got to fight at 154. So let's go, Earl. Let's go Crawford. At the end of the day, I just want to see good fights, man. That's a good fight. And then Crawford, I love to see Crawford fight Canelo. I think that'd be a good fight too. There's like so many good fights out there. You know what I'm saying? We got we got uh we got Devin and uh Javante, you know. That that'd be a that'd be a great fight. At the end of the day, at 135, 140. Like I said, at the end of the day, it's all about the people. And you know we just get these good fights, I see good fights, man. It's, it's about time these these champion boxers start fighting each other. You know the guys that are undefeated, the guys that only got one loss, the guys that have been dominating the sport for a while now. You know what I mean? Finally coming together, boxing getting it together. It's a good sport, man. A lot of people be hating on the sport, man. Don't don't. It's a good sport. Everything coming together. But like I said, Crawford and Spence, 154. I don't know if it's gonna be in Vegas or where it's gonna be at, but at the end of the day, we got a fight. It's going down. It should be a great fight. I don't know the outcome. I ain't gonna give y'all my prediction. We ain't, I'm not doing all that right now. At the end of the day, we know this. We got a fight. The rematch clause has been activated. We got a fight at 154. That's all we need to know and all we need to focus on. And another fight I do wanna see, I think a lot of people wanna see, I don't know if it's gonna happen now or later. But uh, Devin Haney and uh, Shakur Stevenson. But that's a whole nother video. You know what I'm saying? But it's your boy, Real Deal Boxing Talk. Comment, like, and let me know what y'all think about Earl Spence reactivating his uh, fight call, fight calls to fight um, Crawford. Just tell me, you know, tell me, what you, you know, you think will it be the same outcome? Will it be a new outcome? Will we get a trilogy? You never know. Spence might go in there and and, and do work. Will we get it? Get the, get the victory and then do, do we get a trilogy out of this? You know, this is a good fight, solid fight. These are both great fighters. All we want to see is good fights. So let your boy know it's real deal boxing talk.